So now that you've bought some credits, let's talk about how to download tracks and how to preview them before you make the commitment and spend the credit to download them. In this video, I will be doing the example in the i12 inch digital pool. So let's scroll down and let's say, let's change this to top downloads all time. Now let's go up to the right hand side and click flip view so we only look at the table. If there's a track that we want, we have a few different options over here. Clicking the plus button will add the track to our download queue. When you click this, you are not yet committed to the track. So by clicking this, you don't spend any credits. So let's add a couple tracks to our download queue. Now, as you can see, after we click them, there'll be a little check mark next to it. So we'll add these four tracks. Now let's go over here on the right hand side and click download queue you can see that these tracks have been added. They haven't been downloaded yet, so we've made no commitment. We still have the option to back out by clicking the trash can if we want, but this is our download queue. We can click this again to go back to what we were looking at before. Now we're back in the table that we were looking at before, which is the top downloads of all time. Let's say that we know for a fact that we want to commit to the track. We have two options for that. We can click this button right here, which will instantly download the track. Or we can purchase the track without downloading it right on the spot by clicking this. This will add it to our library. So let's go down here and add some tracks to our library. But keep in mind that this is a commitment. You are purchasing the track by clicking this button. So we'll purchase four of these tracks right here. Now let's go to my library and you will see the tracks that we just purchased. I have a little bit more tracks in here than what I just purchased now, but pretty much these tracks are here for me to download whenever I feel like it. So I purchased them, but I didn't have to download them yet, but they will be here for me to download whenever I desire. So we'll click this again, and once again, it'll take us back to our table. Now let's say that we want to preview a track before making a decision. We can click this play button, and it will bring up this player on the top. This player is extremely intuitive. First of all, you see the full waveform. You can skip through it. You'll also notice that the track playing lights up in the table. We can click the forward button, It'll play the next track. Or we could go backwards. Now let's say that we are playing a track and we haven't decided on it yet and we venture far away from it. So let's say we go into another area. So let's just go, for example, into DJ Technique. Okay, let's say we're looking around his library. And then we decide, you know what, I actually do want this song. We still have the same options down here that we have on the table here. So you have the option to add the track to your download queue. You could download the track instantly. Or you can commit to it, purchase it, and add it to your library section where you could download it later. This makes things really easy because there's been a lot of other times on other sites where I've been listening to things and then deciding that I wanted to buy them, only I had to go back and find it again. It's a huge inconvenience, so we've totally eliminated that with this very intuitive player. So between the three different options for getting your songs that are both in the player and in the table, we've made downloading music very convenient.